All right, the undisputed championship, Armageddon, six man, hell in a cell. Brock Lesnar, RVD, The Rock, Kurt Angle, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Chris Benoit. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's go do this. And the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Alberta, Canada, 
weighing 229 pounds, Chris Benoit. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Let's get it started. Um, yeah, so here we are, Hell in a Cell match. And uh, first thing, what I'm gonna do is, from my experience that I had in my practice session, is to break the cell. Here we go. The cell has been broken. And let's get ready to rumble outside on top of the cell. Look at Benoit, holy crap. Of course, you would try something like that up on top of the cell. Something crazy, huh? <laughs> I just threw him from top of the cell. A loss of this is going to happen, so uh, just expect some crazy stuff in this matchup, you guys. Look at this, Benoit's not giving up. He's up on the cell already. Ooh, he just gave me a German suplex bridge. Um, yeah, take that kick, Kurt Angle. Holy crap, the mid part has already been broken. I need to be careful. I don't want, you know, I don't want nobody to get pinned already in this matchup. You know, the good thing about this match is you can pin uh, any person anywhere. You don't have to be, uh, you know, in the ring to uh, pin a person or a wrestler or an opponent to. Ooh, that was actually close. What the crap? I got out and uh, it had jumped from top of the cell. Or I didn't jump, I kind of, you know, you know what happened. As I told you guys, lots of this is going to happen. Like, even though if I just walk, 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 I'm just going to end up being, you know, out of the cell. Take that jab. <laughs> Fall. Look at this, man. Oh, what the crap? What just happened? The midsection was uh, already broken. And I just walked. As I told you, like, I was going to give you guys an example, you know, what was going to happen. Let's grab a chair or something. Nothing? What? You can't use any foreign objects in this game? I mean, uh, Hell in a Cell match? That's weird. Okay, let's, uh, let's work on somebody, shall we? Where's my bar? Holy crap, I need a freaking finisher. I need to win this match. And in order for me to do that, I need to work on somebody. And right now the uh, two. Oh, that was actually close. Again. Uh, take that jab. Uh, look at uh, Brock Lesnar and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Their bar is like almost over than halfway full. Come on. Somebody's gonna get their ass kicked. Ah, come on, Rock. Beat somebody else. You're supposed to be a baby face. Stone Cold Steve Austin, by God, the rattlesnake thrown from top of the cell. Can you imagine GR doing a commentary on the simulation gameplay? I mean, it will be, you know, probably like the best gameplay ever. Two? Oh, card angle? You suck. Jeez. Oh, come on. Look, I'm on top of the cell. I'm on top of the cell. And look at that. Brock Lesnar is gone. I need to watch out for that part right there. I don't want to end up... Oh, I was going to climb down. That didn't work. Stupid Rock. He has imagined the Rock falling from top of the cell. That would be like the most hysterical thing ever. I mean, nobody imagined, you know, the Rock. Guy like the Rock falling from top of the cell. Yeah, that would never happen. Even then, like back in the day, I highly doubt it if guys like, you know, Kane, The Rock, or even the hell, The Undertaker would fall from top of the cell. Uh, I don't even know. Kurt Angle? Yeah, I can imagine Kurt Angle falling from top of the cell. It would be mainly heel guys, huh? I don't know. Come on, let's work on you, Rocky. Uh, 
get up. Rob Van Dam. That's my name. I'm doing stupid stuff. And watch this. I'm going to fall too if I keep doing stuff like this. Come on, Kurt. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go for a cover. One. Two. What? Get, who gave up? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? What? The rock applied to fit. How? I didn't see nothing. A submission. My gosh. The rock won. Well, that sucks. Hey, Rock is celebrating with this title. But, it, I mean, seriously, like, there's nothing that I could do anything about it, you know? It's just, uh, you know, nobody, I'm sure nobody expected The Rock to, you know, apply a freaking submission maneuver on, uh, you know, a wrestler and uh, win a freaking matchup. Hell, I didn't see that coming. I was concentrating on my opponent. That was a difficult match for him. He shouldn't take this victory for granted. Here comes Ric Flair. Congratulations, Rock. That was a great victory. Please, everyone, congratulate him. With that said, we have all received a great Christmas present today. What is that? The game is back. What? Happy Holidays! Holy crap! That's Triple H! Triple H is back! Back in action! I bet he's back from this quad injury, huh? Holy crap, guess who's back? The game is back from his quad injury. I am the game. And you can bet your ass I'm back. Holy crap, I said it before. <laughs> I said the exact same quote before I click yes or uh, continue because, you know, in his promo, that's exactly what he says. I'm announcing tonight that I will be in the Royal Rumble match. Well, that's great to know. Triple H just knocked out Rock. <laughs> that was actually good. I'm, I'm glad that I didn't win the championship, you know, because I didn't want to get knocked down by the game. Um, still an opportunity ahead of me, you know. I can go on, win the Rumble match, and face the champion. So who knows? What a dramatic comeback. And just like that, he already owns the belt. If this is the kind of climax we get for the end of the year, I can't wait until the next year. This is great. I mean, this whole uh, whole segment that they did, you know, in within the game, I thought it was pretty amazing. Have a happy new year, folks.